but they didn't listen. So today, we are millions around the world, striking and marching again, and we will keep on doing it until they listen. If the people in power won't take their responsibility, then we will. It should not be up to us, but somebody needs to do it. They say we shouldn't worry, that we should look forward to a bright future. But they forget that if they would have done their job, we wouldn't need to worry. If they had started acting in time, then this crisis wouldn't be the crisis it is today. And we promise, once they start taking their responsibility and do their job, we will stop worrying and go back to school, go back to work. Yeah. And once again, we are not communicating our opinions or political views. The climate and ecological crisis is beyond party politics. We are communicating the current best available science. this crisis, that science is too uncomfortable to address. But we, who will have to live with the consequences, and indeed those who are living with climate and ecological crisis already, we don't have a choice. of irreversible chain reactions beyond human control. To do that, we must speak clearly and tell it like it is, and tell the truth. In the IPCC's SR 1.5 reports that came out last year, it says on page 108, chapter 2, that to have a 67% chance of staying below a 1.5 degrees of global temperature rise, the best odds given by the IPCC, the world had 420 gigatons of CO2 left to emit back on January 1st, 2018. And today, that figure is already down to less than 350 gigatons. With today's emissions levels, the remaining CO2 budget will be entirely gone within less than eight and a half years. And please note that these calculations do not include already locked in warming hit by toxic air pollution, non-linear tipping points, motor feedback loops, or the aspect of equity, climate justice. They are also relying on my generation, your generation, sucking one hundreds of billions of tons of CO2 out of the air with technologies that barely exist. And not once, not one single time have I heard any politician journalists or business leaders even mention these numbers. They say, let children be children. We agree. Let us be children. Do your part. Communicate these kinds of numbers instead of leaving that responsibility. 
responsibility to us. Then we can go back to being children. And we are not in school today. You are not at work today. Because this is an emergency. And we will not be bystanders. lesson time. We say we are changing the world. So that when we are older, we will be able to look our children in the eye and say that we did everything we could back then. for the living planet and for a safe future, for our future. We will do everything in our power to stop this crisis from getting worse, even if that means skipping school or work. Because anyway, that we can't have an impact and make a difference. I think we have proven that to be wrong by now. Through history, the most important changes in society have come from the bottom up, from grassroots. have joined the Week for Future, the strikes on this and last Friday. That is one of the biggest demonstrations in history. And we will continue to speak until our leaders listen and act. 